everyone, and today I'm going to be playing Foss Optrom. So let's get right into it. I swear if I'm wrong, man. Okay. A few torn scraps of paper. Oh, the, I can read the papers. December 11th, Reagan. I visited the hospital again, and so did he. He called himself the doctor's research partner, but he seemed very unwelcome. I've seen how he interacts with Marguerite, and it's the first time I've seen her smile so happily at someone else. Although I am loath to admit it, but perhaps he is better suited to keep her company than I am. Please respond to her love and kind, I implored him. December 12th, Janine. Marguerite is willing to meet with me. It seems that she isolated herself after she was forbidden to meet with him. After all, she is one of the research sponsors. His target is the doctor and me. Anyone could see that. Strange noises are emitted from the laboratory at night. Are there rats in this establishment? December 13th, Janine. The weather has deteriorated so much that the trains have stopped running. It is my first night here. One short night has been enough to change my mind about this place. How does Mercury endure such a sinister place night after night? December 14th, Janine. He left after giving me the key to the cellar. I have no idea where he went after he left. The wind and snow show no signs of stopping. December 15th, Janine. Strange chattering sounds mixed in with the winter wind are coming from downstairs. I'll sneak downstairs for a peek when the doctor returns to his room. Put it with the old diary. Huh? The sound of song played by the record player came from afar. Uh... Okay, why do I need to know about a record player? What? Huh? A scene that had been seen before somewhere. It was locked. It was still locked. Okay, my bad. It was locked. Berlin Morgan Post, 5 Mai. The Wuppertal Sanatorium was founded in 1930 and sits in a picturesque mountain valley, providing a place of respite in a rural countryside that lacked medical facilities. It has recently garnered plans to leverage the government's subsidies in order to expand. Hospital director Diane Wagner is a scientist. When her brethren were troubled by the country's unrest, she noticed where the nation's true weakness lay and decided to throw herself into medicine. Being cured isn't a matter to be ashamed of. The hospital director advised that facing problems head-on was the most effective cure. The doors to the Garden of Hope would forever be open to patients in need. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. Guess I'm supposed to push these around or something? Yep. Oh, the kitty's not here anymore. Memo. October 25th. He came to visit the mayor's poor daughter. I don't know when they met each other. This is really quite devious. Is he here to expose me or to take away my benefactor? I know he's not interested in her. It's plain to see who he's really looking at. Oh. Uh, hello? Oh, um... November 5th. I had to say the triplets were housing imps after Marguerite accidentally saw them. Okay. Um. Oh! Huh! Oh. What? What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Uh. Okay. I see. Oh! I didn't even, I didn't even realize. Um, oh, oh, it only takes one hit. Ooh, that's bad. That's, that's real bad. Um, memo. 
November 30th. Snow come down hard and covers the tracks, but I'm running out of materials. This is getting quite alarming. Ugh. I read the note, though. Oh, I guess I only had to read the memo. Okay. Thank goodness. Memo. December 13th. The mayor's eyes will be staying the night. The what? Must lock the door. His eyes will. The record player turned with a rolling sound. A well-worn and dusty journal sits on the table. A fountain pen sits between two of the pages. A bullet-pointed list starts at the top, but stains have covered a lot of the words. The first couple of lines are crossed out for some reason. List. January. Popular hospital blood supply is running low. Opportunity to lure back customers. February. Emma Wolf. Seven pints. Hilda. Ten pints. April. Anne Hood. Kidney and liver. Conrad Wynn. Discard. September. Andler. Too mad for other than heart. October. Paul Mueller. Hans Mueller. Pauline Mueller. Cornea. November. E. Mayer. Blank Mayer. December. Marguerite Sean Von Schneider. Oh. Flowers who bloomed at her side. Confess to her for me. Give her my wishes. Tell her she is lovely, and that night and day my heart pines for love for her. Reveal to her soul the secret of my flame. Let it breathe out with you, sweetest fragrances. Speak for me. May she be acquainted with the passion she has roused and of which my troubled heart has not breathed a word. Gonad Faust, the flower song. Oh, I'm asleep. Huh? What are you doing here? Elizabeth bent down, but the cat didn't run away as she had expected it to. Ah, yes. This is for you, she said. She took out the bracelet from her pocket, wiped off the dust on the bell, and gently put it on the cat. That cat is false? Okay. What's this? Key with a label. A key in front of the bed labeled data room. Oh, okay. Where's data room again? It was with the kids, right? This one, right? Yeah, the label next to the door read data room. Okay. Opened it with the key. Yeah, uh, someone found this third kid. Maybe they're in here. A piece of yellowed mail and an envelope with quite neat and orderly handwriting on it. Mr. Valentine, how are you? My apologies for the fact that I'm the one responding on Marguerite's behalf after such a long period of time. There were simply too many things to be handled here, and the situation has only become stable recently. It's now the most charming season, springtime. The snow has melted, and the temperature has risen back up to a more tolerable range. Dr. Wagner disappeared into the blizzard. I trust that you've read about it in the papers. We still haven't given up hope on waiting, and hope that you'll also pray for a return. But please don't worry. The person that we mentioned to you in the previous letters is here. The situation here is quite good as of now. So is Marguerite. So please be at ease. Please don't try to find us. Marguerite doesn't wish to see you. The weather of early spring is still quite erratic, so please take care of yourself. DB seeable. Oh yeah, I probably should save, huh? There's pi- Oh my god, there was a save thing right here and I went all the way back to my room. Okay, a large black umbrella. There was an empty space that would just fit a book. The cat tried to use its front paws to reach into the bottom of the space, but its paws didn't fit. Maybe the umbrella would. Pull out the umbrella? Sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. What? Oops. <laughs> what? No. Oh my god. I... I now have an umbrella. All right. The painting locked to the wall. I thought it would let me poke out the thing. Um, now I just have an umbrella out. Paper scraps with crayon drawings on them were stacked upon the table. 
The Blue Bird of Happiness There was a kind brother and sister duo in an unfortunate family. After an unfortunate Christmas on a sad evening, the witch told them that there was a blue bird in a faraway kingdom that would bring them happiness. Thus, they took with them their burdens and set foot on journey, leaving the unfortunate family.